Hey guys and gals, this week in the library we are going to be going back to um, doing some research, practicing, doing some note taking, and we're going to be using this book in honor of all the crazy, crazy weather Conway has had over the last few weeks. The name of this book is How Are Rain, Snow, and Hail Alike? So raindrops, snowflakes, hail stones not the bad word that sounds like that but h-a-i-l hail stones are made out of ice from the sky and we're going to be using this note taking guide your link is going to be right up here and then you're going to be reading about rain snow hail and in these colored blocks in the columns in this one it says type two facts from the book about raindrops so it's got to be something that you learned from here not just something you made up out of your head or that you've known since you were a little bitty one fact two facts then you're going to do the same thing with snowflakes two facts from the book one two and then two facts about hailstones again information that you learned from the book goes right there I'm going to go back to this page for just a minute though and have a little bit of a mini lesson. I want you to know that responsible researchers create citations and the reason for this, one of the reasons for this, is to protect you from being accused of committing plagiarism and we've talked a little bit about plagiarism this year. If you're accused of committing plagiarism, that means that a teacher thinks that instead of doing your research, instead of getting your facts from ebooks or library books or internet websites, and you studied it and you wrote it in your own words, you just wrote down some information that someone else actually provided you and turned it in, pretending it was your own work. You don't want to do that. So one of the things that we do to get around that so that people know that we did the work ourselves is to make a citation. We're not going to make citations today. I'm just going to teach you about it, okay? A citation provides written proof to show where you got your facts. Like today, we're getting all of our facts from this ebook. It helps you give the author credit for his or her work as a researcher. This is a citation right here, okay? A citation includes some of the things on this list, and I've color-coded them to help you see how it all works. So the very first thing that you always need is the author's name, all right? Just like in the library, last name goes before the first name. So Ellen Lawrence is the author, but in a citation, we're going to put Lawrence Ellen. Okay, the second thing that goes in a citation is your title, and here is the title of the book, How Are Rain, Snow, and Hail Alike, and you'll notice that the title is in italics. Um, there are lots of different formats for citations. We're learning the MLA format, so this is how you would have to do it in order to have your citation pass in an assignment. All right, the next thing says you need the publisher's name, usually shortened. So instead of Bearport Publishing, I just put Bearport for short. Next thing is the copyright date. Here's the copyright date, 2018. Then, because this is an ebook, we have to have the ebook's database name and the URL or the address where you can find it on the internet. So here I've put Epic because I bought I got this book from Epic eBooks and there is the URL where you could access it. Then finally, in this type of a citation, you put the date that you actually used the resource. So I was preparing this lesson on Sunday, February the 28th, so I put accessed 28 February 2021. Now, to be official, your, whoops, went too far. To be official, your citation would have to look something like this. It couldn't be, 
in all of these different colors, that would get you into trouble. It would have to be in this font, which is Times New Roman, or whatever font your teacher told you to do it in. You wouldn't be able to um, just pick a cute font or something like that. That's not done with a citation. And did you notice that the second and third line were indented just a little bit? That's kind of different than how we usually indent. But in an MLA formatted citation, the first line is all the way out, and then you have a hanging indent this way. Okay? I'm not going to require you to make a citation today, but I did want to start introducing that to you, especially you guys that are heading off to middle school next year. You're going to need to know that. So we're going to start doing a little bit of it here and there. All right. That is some information that you need to know about a citation. When you go to your template, you've listened to this lesson now. It's time for you to go listen to your ebook at this link and then begin typing in your facts about rain and snow and hail and finding out how those three kinds of weather or precipitation are alike. All right. Hope you learned lots. Bye bye.